You have some questions about what might cause a woman to not ovulate. You've been using ovulation kits and not seeing positive results when you should be seeing positives, and so you're suspicious of your body not ovulating. So of course that leaves you to wonder what might cause this. Um, in most cases, it has to do with endocrine problems. So the most common are like polycystic ovarian syndrome, thyroid dysfunction. Um, some women who are obese don't ovulate because adipose tissue or fat is actually an endocrine organ and it can affect hormone levels in our body. Um, without being seen by a doctor, though, it's impossible to say for sure what the what the cause might be for you. So I recommend calling your doctor, scheduling an appointment, and then after asking you more specific questions, performing an exam, and taking a look at your health history, they'll be able to determine if further investigation or treatment is necessary for you. You can definitely expect your doctor to ask you about your bleeding history. They'll ask you about your periods and if they're regular or not, because this is a cardinal sign associated with anovulation or women who aren't ovulating. They don't have regular cycles. A regular cycle length is 25 to 35 days from the beginning of one period to the beginning of the next. If your cycles are any shorter or longer than this, then it's hard to tell when or even if you're ovulating at all. So that's definitely a question you can expect your doctor to ask you. If you've been tracking your periods, then take that information with you to your appointment. And that will again help them in um, to determine what's going on. Good luck with everything, and if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.